Hello viewers, my name is Mutahar and you are watching Ministry of Solutions YouTube channel. In today's video, I will show you how you can root Huawei P20 Lite which is running Android 8 version. Viewers, uh, uh, like uh, other phones, first thing you need to do is enable developer options by tapping 7 times on build number. Then you need to go in developer options and uh, there you need to enable OEM unlock. If OEM unlock is grayed out, you will have to connect your phone to internet and uh, then OEM unlock option will be visible. You will also need to select the transfer files mode uh, for USB because uh, USB debugging will only work if you have uh, file transfer mode activated. Now we will enable USB debugging on our, our phone and uh, for uh, OEM unlock we have to connect our phone to Wi-Fi and then we need to enter Google account. Now you can see the OEM unlock option is visible, you need to enable it. Once you have enabled OEM unlock, move to your computer. Viewers, make sure uh, the USB mode is selected on uh, files transfer. Now, we on, now on computer we need to open CMD screen and here we need to type ADB devices and press enter. On your phone screen, uh, a notification will appear to allow USB debugging. You need to tick always allow and uh, press OK. And then you need to type. And then you need to type uh, ADB reboot bootloader command to enter uh, your phone in fast boot mode. Once you press enter, your phone should reboot to fast boot mode and uh, you will be able to see that uh, OE, uh, the FRP is unlocked and phone is showing locked. Now we need to unlock the bootloader of this phone. Weavers, the bootloader code is already with me for uh, this phone and uh, now I will use that uh, code to unlock the bootloader. Weavers, un unfortunately, the code is not available for free and uh, you have to pay uh, for the code. Okay, now I will copy the code and uh, on CMD screen, we need to uh, type the command for bootloader unlock. It is fastboot space OEM space unlock space. Paste the code and uh, press enter. When you will press enter on your phone screen, a warning will appear that will ask for the confirmation of bootloader unlock. You need to use volume uh, up button to select yes and then press power button to confirm your decision. 
Once you will press power button, the phone should uh, reboot and bootloader will be unlocked. Now the phone will perform a factory reset. So let's wait until the reset process completes and the phone reboots back to normal mode. phone just booted up now we need to enable a USB debugging again on our phone just like before you will need to tap on uh, on build number seven times to enable developer options and then go back in developer options and uh, here you need to enable USB debugging make sure that uh, USB mode is selected to transfer files mode and uh, then you need to enable USB debugging on your phone once USB debugging has been enabled on your uh, computer you need to copy the magisk uh, zip file which is included in root files you need to copy this magisk file to your SD card viewers you cannot use uh, internal storage of your phone make sure you have SD card uh, before you proceed with the root process once you have copied again you need to open the CMD screen and there you need to type uh, ADB reboot bootloader command to enter fast boot mode Now you will see on your phone screen that uh, phone unlocked is showing in fast boot mode. Now we need to flash TWRP recovery on our phone. The command is fast boot space flash space recovery underscore RAM disk space and uh, then you need to drag and drop TWRP image on CMD screen and press enter. Once TW is flashed on your screen on your phone, then you need to disconnect your phone from PC. And then you need to hold volume up and power button simultaneously. Volume up and power buttons. Keep holding both buttons even after reboot. almost for uh, 20 seconds and uh, then your uh, phone should enter TWRP recovery mode keep holding even after this message and uh, the phone should enter TWRP mode TWRP recovery is appeared now wait for load ok now you need to swap, swipe to allow modifications and then you tap uh, inst on uh, install button and then you need to tap on select storage button and here you need to select SD card and press OK now you will see magisk file tap on it and swipe to flash now the root flashing process has been started 
viewers in this video i will show you that why i am using uh, magisk uh, routing pro routing method for uh, every uh, phone because the magisk method is uh, systemless route and uh, we can use uh, bank apps uh, even after uh, routing our phone they will not give any error i will also show you that how you can do that for banking apps how you can disable the route for banking apps okay the flashing has been completed and phone is now rebooting phone has been booted now you can see the magist manager is there now we need to uh, install root checker before we proceed with the installation of root checker you need to connect your phone with wi-fi and uh, open magist manager to verify if the magist has been installed properly okay it is saying that magist is update update up to date and uh, installed now if you want to update magisk manager you can do that okay or you can leave it as it is and then you need to install the root checker you can also download from play store or if you have offline installation file you can install it and open to verify the root uh, access tap on verify root access and grant root permissions okay the device has been routed successfully as you can see this is what this app is saying okay now I will show you that uh, how you can disable banking apps uh, for root in magisk manager menu there is option magisk hide viewers you need to add uh, every application that you want to hide from root here and uh, that application will not be able to detect uh, root on your phone Thank you for watching uh, this video. In coming days, I will also upload a video for EMU 9 version of uh, P20 Lite. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching this video.